In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can have more control over your Gen 3 AI videos. Hey, uh, Siri, I just lost my job. Can you tell me a joke to cheer me up? What's the difference between you and a large pizza? I, I don't know. What? A large pizza can feed a family. In order to take the randomness out of AI-generated videos, it really helps to have a 3D source layer that you use as a structure. Uh, this really helps as well with like compositing because you have all the render passes or you can uh, rotoscope things out. But most importantly, obviously, is uh, the characters and character consistency. So once we have a character we're happy with, we pick a background and um, you know we can add in props here. There's a lot of stuff in the library. Um, a thing that I want to point out, the lip sync multiplier, this is how much mouth movement there is. Uh, you want to increase that. Um, this helps a lot while generating the video. It wants to be a bit more than you would normally use in Replicant. Um, otherwise, it y yeah, you, you, you just lose the, uh, the characters kind of don't talk. Um, once you have your timeline, you know, you, uh, you do your mocap or you drop in the uh, library animations. And um, once you have something, you render it. And this then becomes the ground truth for your uh, structure that you process in Gen 3. And um, this helps uh, a ton. It's not perfect. You know, there's still weird stuff happening uh, here and there. Um, but you can definitely tell a decent story uh, this way. Uh, additionally, in Replicant, we have the ability to uh, control the lights. You know, there are a lot of presets uh, that you can use. And um, this helps as well um, because this gives you, again, a, a, a different uh, ground truth. You will still have to run uh, several passes because uh, some things just don't work. But there is a lot that can be fixed in compositing. Hey, uh, Siri, I just lost my job. Can you tell me a joke to cheer me up? What's the difference between you and a large pizza? I, I don't know. What? So since the AI video generation takes a long time, um, you can basically be processing while you create different versions that you may like in uh, Replicant. Uh, so it's really easy to change his, uh, skin tones, you know, change a different outfit, change a different background. And um, once you have what you like, uh, you just process that again and um, you can create a completely different uh, character. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps and um, have fun making stuff.